from scratch. Why do they teach us words and then not teach us word form? I don't know. Sure would be nice. Well, at least you're in luck. I'll teach you word form. Here we go with word form part two. In part one of word form, we went from standard form to word form. We looked at a number and then we wrote it in word form. This time we're going to switch it up. We're going to flip it. We're going to look at the word form and make sure that we can write it in standard form or as a regular number. We're going to get warmed up with some whole numbers. I'm sure you'll have no trouble with these whole numbers. So if you see the words 75, and you know to write that number would be a 7 and 5. How about this one, another whole number? 237. I'm sure you already know how to write that one. 237, 237. But what if we get a decimal? Here's a decimal. And then we'll talk about some of the clues that we know it's a decimal. 72 hundredths. We know it's a decimal because of the THS on the end. That THS tells us it's a decimal. I know it's all decimal because there's no and. So it's not a mixed number. It's just everything on the decimal side. So decimal point. Then we need it to say 72. Then it needs to end in the hundredths place. So, yep, it ends in the hundredths place. It is 72 hundredths. How about another decimal? This one says 12 and 6 hundredths. So this one is going to be a mixed number. I know that because there's two clues. One clue is the and. That tells me it's going to be whole number and decimal. So I'm going to start with the whole number side. On the whole number side, it says 12. So I'm going to write 12. And then the next part of it is the and. And means decimal point. And then on the decimal side we have 6, but it also needs to end in the hundredths place. I need to be careful about this 6. I need to make sure it's a 6 and hundredths place. So if I put it there, that's only 6 tenths. I need 6 hundredths. So that's not going to work. If I just add a zero after it, it's going to be 60 hundredths. That's not what I want. So I have to move it over and then put a zero in so you can see how far I moved it over. So you can tell I just moved it over the one spot from tenths over to the hundredths place. Now I have 12 on the whole number side and 6 hundredths on the decimal side. Try this one on your own. Write this number using digits in standard form. Three and five tenths. Well, that would be three and five. And the number ends in the tenths place. There you go. 3.5. Three and five tenths. How about one more little challenging bit of practice? Seven hundredths. Write seven hundredths in standard form using digits. Did you catch on that this would be all decimal and you needed your zero to scoot your seven over to the hundredths place? I hope so. I just can't believe we finally know word form. Yep. Me neither. Uh-huh. Just as nice as I thought it would be. Have a good day. I'm Mrs. Smith, and I'll talk to you later.